Before we even get into asking for advice, let us drag and drop this photo inside of ChatGPT and ask it to fully edit this photo and give it a warm look. Let's see what it does. Let's wait for it. And there we have our result. I would say not bad, but then again, the lipstick is on high, way too much, too much saturated, and the skin tones are just too highlighty, if that's a word. What if we write even out the skin tones and reduce the highlights in it? Can it further edit the photo? That is the question. Can we modify how it's editing the photo step by step? Let's see. And no, uh, uh, there is still a hope for people like us. It's straight out lying through its teeth. It says, I have evened out the skin tones and reduced the highlights in the image. Where is the, in what world is the highlight reduced? And even if you download the final edited photo by clicking here, you will notice that the resolution, the quality is just on another level. This is the original and this is the chat GPT edited. Let's see if we were to do this in Photoshop, what would we do? It doesn't have to be difficult. Click on the adjustment layer icon and let us create a curves adjustment layer. You can even automatically get a good starting point. Click on the hamburger menu or the tofu burger menu if you're a vegetarian and then go to auto options right here. Inside of that, you can pick any one that you like. First one, second one, third one and then check snap neutral midtones. And there you have it, a wonderful starting point. Hit OK and there you go. If you think the highlights are too much on the skin, no worries. You can double click right here with the help of the hand, click on it, just click and drag it down. If you want to bring back some details, maybe right here, click and drag it up to make it bright again. And just like that, you can even increase contrast. So if you want to darken this area, click and drag it down. So overall, it just makes it so much more easier, gives you so much more control. And on top of that, you can even create a faded effect by taking the extreme shadows up like so. You can always adjust this and just like that, you can easily get a fantastic starting point. And if you think it's too much at any point, you can decrease the opacity, control it, or use the shortcut. If you're using the move tool or any non-brush based tool, press five for opacity 50, seven for opacity 70, eight for opacity 80. And if you give it a little more time, maybe five or six more minutes, you can add numerous adjustment layers and this is what I got. But this was editing in Photoshop. What if instead we asked ChatGPT, give me simple steps to edit this in Photoshop? Let's see what it does. And from here, I'll try to follow every step that it says. First is open the image, already did it. Then it says adjust exposure and contrast, enhance colors. I don't want that, I want exact numbers. So please give me exact values and numbers. And it's giving those numbers. Let us apply it. Let's see how the image looks now. Right off the bat, this is destructive. It's not even asking you to create adjustment layers that you can adjust later. It's asking you to go to image adjustments levels or use the shortcut Control or Command L. And the values are shadows 15. Let us try that. Midtones 1.1 and the highlights 240. All right, hit OK. Now it's asking you to enhance colors, but then again, this is very destructive. There is no way I can go back and adjust those values. I have to redo the whole thing again. Smooth skin and enhance details. Duplicate the layer, Control or Command J. Now filter, blur, Gaussian blur, why? Let's go to filter, blur, Gaussian blur. And it's asking you for 2.5 pixels. There you go, hit OK. But why did we blur it? Here was the before. Here's the after, that, why? Add a mask to the blurred layer by clicking on the mask icon. Let's take the brush. It's not extremely bad, maybe something we can work with. Is it making a difference? The next step is sharpening and it's a good thing that it's asking you to create a stamp visible layer by pressing Ctrl, Alt, Shift and E. Now filter, sharpen, unsharp mask. Very old way of sharpening, but still works. Amount 100, radius 1, threshold 0. And there we have a little bit of sharpening or do we? So here's the before and here's the after. We do have slight bit of sharpening. Now it does say sharpen key features, but it didn't ask you to create a mask and then just apply sharpening on the subject or just on the eyes or the nose and the lips. None of that. The next is add a soft light effect. Let us add a new layer and fill it with 50% gray. So click on the new layer button and it says edit fill 50% gray. Let's completely do it this way. Edit fill. Let us pick 50% gray and hit OK. Set the layer blending mode to soft light. Let's do that as well. Now it says use a soft white brush at 10% opacity to paint lightly over the face for brightening or use black at the same opacity for subtle shadows. It is always asking you to work with opacity but I highly recommend that you work with flow for a natural flow. Opacity is going to stick to that level of transparency but flow is more natural. It says opacity so we're going to set opacity 10%. Take the brush with white 
let us paint slightly over the face here right here and if you wanted to create certain shadows we paint with black you can always press x to toggle between the foreground and the background colors so maybe a little shadow here there and maybe in the background and final touches finally thankfully it asks you to add an adjustment layer not destructive anymore thank you so much click on the adjustment layer icon and then choose curves click near the middle of the curve line and set the input to 128 and the output to 140 then add a color balance adjustment layer let us go through every step click on the adjustment layer icon and then choose color balance and only for the midtones because it suggested midtones cyan a red minus 10 magenta green plus 5 yellow blue minus 5. finally it asks you to save your edited photo but that's all right and here is our result that is weird that's what the color balance did before after made it more greener let me share with you the overall before and after following exactly chat gpt steps let us open the history panel right here here is the overall before and here is the after is it supposed to be the after seems flipped but that's how chat gpt edits your photos or advices to edit your photos to compare all of this all of these adjustments and more destructive adjustments with just one curves adjustment layer that we added which most of it was automatic you can easily see that it really helps knowing a bit of photoshop and if you give it a little more time and a little more dedication with just a few more adjustments you can even take it further and it doesn't take a lot of time if you're used to adjustment layers five to ten minutes at most and you get to control every aspect of it that is the best part now let's try this photo let's drag it and drop it and ask it to remove the red patches from the face will it be able to do it what do you think pause the video decide and then see if it can maybe it will surprise you you never know now it's been analyzing for a while there is some code going on in the background hopefully all right i've removed but there's a surprise it doesn't give you a preview i have to download it let's see and here is our mystery photo where is the redness gone oh my gosh it looks like a, a monkey kind of a structure and it's a painting now see chat gpt is doing more than what we asked it to and it's also giving us such a wonderful effect isn't it let me share with you how incredibly easy it is to do in photoshop all you need to do is to create a hue saturation adjustment layer then with the help of the hand right here yes you can also pick red from the drop down click on one of these red areas that's all increase the hue and the saturation all the way to the right hand side and with this slider target the exact reds make it very very narrow like this hold from the middle and move it around just when it is on top of all of these red patches stop so it starts right there we can expand it a little bit on the right hand side and right now it covers everything you can also extend the sliders on the outside to make the transition smoother and that's all like so similarly on the left hand side you can even extend it further and now set the saturation and hue back to zero by double clicking on saturation double clicking on hue and now you can easily adjust it and there you go wonderfully gone you can even decrease the saturation like so you can even increase the lightness and it's fully fully gone now you can select the mask right here press ctrl or command i because we don't want it to get away from the mouth and the hair take the brush and very broadly with opacity and flow at 100 paint over the patches and you can always adjust it later how wonderfully all of them are gone so here's the before and here's the after we missed out that area there you go maybe a little bit right there fun before after so cool isn't it trust me photoshop is simple if you just understand the concepts you never have to cram or memorize the steps you will create your own steps you will be the master as long as you have a vision in mind of how you want your masterpiece to look like if you know the concepts you will know how to get there no doubt and if you want to learn photoshop we have over 900 videos on this channel that you can follow or if you want to learn photoshop professionally we have complete professional photoshop training from start to finish it is not launched yet but if you do want early access you can get it with a heavy discount i'll link all the details in the description as well quick note do bear in mind this is the only official piximperfect photoshop training which means i own it if you reach out to support it comes to me yes i have made several courses in the past but 
effective for several other companies like Kelby One, even some for Adobe, little videos here and there. So those are not fix imperfect courses or videos, they belong to other companies. The only original content you'll find that is in PixImperfect.com and PixImperfect YouTube channel and our official Instagram and Facebook pages. Now let's do something creative. Since ChatGPT is good with messing up photos, why not just create something like that? Let us drag and drop this photo and ask it to turn this photo into a watercolor painting. It is taking a little while. It's using generative AI. It's a completely different thing. It's not even the same photo. Please keep the photo same. Just add a filter maybe. Since I can't directly apply filters to the image myself, it will guide us in Photoshop. Image adjustments, levels and all of that. I, I don't want to do that. This is insane and crazy. Instead, if we were to do this in Photoshop, we can use generative AI if you want. In the later versions of Photoshop, you can even use the brand new selection brush too. Now, whatever percent the opacity is, that is how much we are changing. So for example, I'm just going to set it to maybe 25% and with a big brush, paint over the entire image. Now I don't want to change the house much, but we can experiment a lot with the grass right here. So let's set the opacity to 15 and on top of that just paint over the grass a little extra. I don't want to experiment a lot with the mountains, but maybe a little bit of the sky here and there. Let's see what it gets us. This is an active selection. If you go to window, contextual taskbar, generative fill, have a look, it is activated. You can also go to edit generate a fill that works too click on generate a fill and type in watercolor let's see what it gets us and by the way you can also do it with the quick mask mode but with selection brush tool it's much easier and way more customizable and here is the result here's the before here's the after kept the same structure first second third pretty good now if you want the results to be closer to the image you can just set the opacity right here to 20 and do the whole thing instead of 25 and on top of that 15 do the whole thing like so click on generate a fill and watercolor again you can do it easily with the quick mask mode to fill the whole thing at once but this is just a bit more customizable if you wanted to paint more on certain areas and oh my gosh this is incredibly amazing here's the first second third i act whoa this is really good i actually love this one so let's have a look. Here's the before. Here is the... I'm just so impressed with this. See how we controlled every aspect in Photoshop? And even when we were applying AI, we could control it. And that is the biggest advantage of you editing the photo versus a completely automatic AI editing a photo. You are the artist. You know how you want your masterpiece to look like. You have the vision. And with learning the concepts in Photoshop and editing it personally, bit by bit, gives you a level of control that will always be unmatched. That's all for this video. By the way, I forgot to mention, if you want to go ahead and download any photo shown in this video and follow along, and even get the finished PSD, check the link in the description. That is my just a little gift, so you can have a look at the before and after, judge yourself, take your time with it. I hope you enjoyed this video, and if you did, make sure to give us a like, and also don't forget to subscribe, and not just subscribe, Ring the bell so that you, my friend, don't miss any other future tips, tricks, or tutorials. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in my next one. Until then, stay tuned and make sure that you keep creating.